over at Harbor Freight, get a six inch composite digital caliber. C caliber, remember caliber. All right, it's hard to say it all at once. Alrighty, so what we're gonna do today is we are actually going to just cut a lot of metal and I need to get this piece of metal ready for six more bolts. I'm, we're also going to uh, clean up these welds because I actually had the welder on the wrong setting for the type of metal. I'm new to welding, so I'm getting the materials that I need to actually do this. Now, I'm ex actually excited about what we're gonna do today because I'm actually, uh, I wanna test out the Ryobi to see how well it does cutting one inch holes through metal. I am excited to test out the Metabo five inch sanding wheel that I got. Benefit of having a five inch instead of four and a half inch, you have that much more uh, life on the wheel. So we're gonna do that. We are using the Hilti. For on the Makita, we're actually gonna use the Diablo X-Lock uh, sanding wheel. And we are gonna use a hole saw we're going to use an Ace branded bimetal hole saw. Now this is a one inch hole saw and I'm actually excited to see on how well this performs with the Ryobi. We're not going to go through any model numbers or anything. We're just going to get to it. All right, so at Harbor Freight, I did get a six inch digital composite caliber and I did test this out. This actually does work. And it, it, it is made out of plastic, which in the future I'm going to get a metal one. I, I when it comes to this, I want I want hard metal. So yeah, this is not gonna last too long in this shop. I need to weld this again and add six more bolts to this. So let's get to it. All right, so first uh, we gotta cut out this rectangle and then under, so like this will be, well, this will be exposed. So then we're gonna cut uh, one, six one inch holes here on this side. Then the bolt is gonna come sticking out here where the nut is right here to match the other the other nuts. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's cut this uh, rectangle out first. Perfect. We have 0.23 inches. 0.23 inches. Time. 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 Motor, to, the Ryobi motor does not smell like it's burning at all. Nope, it smells like a regular working tool, which is this uh, Ryobi did do a good job when it comes to this new hammer drill. They did do a good job. Why is my dog barking? All right, so I got my uh, six holes right there. So I got the six bolts right there. Got the grinder now, grinding wheel. Smoother for another weld.
that's the one that needs to be re-welded. So that is the task later on. We got to re-weld this and we got to weld these ones in place. But it's coming along though. It is coming along. Alrighty, so since these are ready, I might as well do this now. Uh, we already went live to uh, weld those on and they held up to 1800 foot-pounds. So let's continue and finish up these six. There we go. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. All right, so I'm going to finish the other four and then we'll continue. All right, so as you guys can see, my welds completely suck. They, they do. I'm not going to lie. You'll see the progress of my welding skills go up gradually in time throughout the channel. So please subscribe. And check that out but we did accomplish our mission and we got this ready for the uh the test for my impact driver and impact wrench test so i'm going to flip this around really quick as you can see i have a good a variety of different sizes and so yeah so this is going to be a good test for the impact drivers and impact wrenches and yeah so that's pretty much it you guys i hope you found this video helpful and entertaining please like this video please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.